Hello folks, welcome back to another issue of Comic Readings. Issue number four. This time we're going to tackle, we're going to start our first multi-part series. This is some of the funnest uh, memories, or fondest memories I had when I was a youngster, is reading through the issues that spanned multi or the the stories that spanned multiple issues so this one is the underbase saga and it's a four-parter we're going to start off relatively easy with the old uh, transformers uh, we're going to get into some of the more juicy stuff later some of the bigger series like wraith war and things along those lines but this one is going to be an old throwback to the 80s another part of the 80s throwback sessions from 1984 in December, right around Christmas. This is the Underbase Saga Part 1, which is called Club Con. We got Kevin Nolan as the cover artist. I like that cover. You know, it's good colors. It's got a good, good old school feel. Look, they got the old uh, Headmasters logo up here. That was popular around those times. So we got the writer, Bob Budansky. Bob, you better bring it, buddy. Penciler, Jose Delbo. Anchor, Dave Hunt. Colorist, letters, editors. So yeah, I'll have to give this thing a shot. Oh, hey. Reminder, got a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. We're currently at five. So by this time, 2027, no, yeah, 2027, yeah, 2027, we should hit it at this rate. <laughs> that The value, the market value may change between now and then. So, yeah, spread the word, please. Hit the subscribe, send these links to people you know. You know, I could really use the input. I mean, that is if it doesn't suck. If you think it sucks, then, then go fuck yourself. And don't send my link anywhere. <laughs> Just kid. So let's get into it. So here's the comic in person. My little sorting system. Transformers under base. One of four. Let's crack it on open. Assault of the Savage Seacons. Stanley presents the Transformers. Hi, I'm Starscream. Fly me. Beginning of four part epic. Part one of the Underbase Saga. Your journey to paradise begins the moment one of our expert travel agents arrives at your doorstep. Club Con. To personally fly you to a magical island whose beauty and climate are unequaled in all the Caribbean. So we're flying to the Caribbean island. where a friendly staff awaits to serve your every need and where you and your family can play on the whitest sand to be found on any beach. Yip, yip. Oh, look, the doggie's having fun with old boy. And dine on the finest cuisine to be found in any restaurant in the world. Ooh, this is the full-on full-on timeshare presentation. Above, aboard the Ark, the spacecraft headquarters of the Autobots that orbits the Earth. Okay, so Starscream is flying people to this island. Come to ClubCon, where your vacation dreams come true. The Decepticons have turned their island base into a resort for humans and are advertising it on TV. That's unbelievable, Optimus Prime. Unlikely, 
Fortress Maximus, but not unbelievable. No doubt our foes are doing all this to divert attention from their latest evil scheme. Fortress Maximus. Man, it's been a long time since I've read The Transformers. I get Optimus, but I don't really remember who Fortress Maximus was. Me think islands seem like nice place to visit. Shh, Grimlock, there's more. And when you arrive, say the king sent you. Look, the king, look, this is a swinger's place. He's got his pineapple on a stick and everything. That's what they're flying him to. They don't know. I don't know what they're doing with those kids there. Maybe mom and dad get some special treat later. For reservations, call toll free. That is Buster Witwicky, my brother. More accurately, he's the brother of Spike Witwicky, your human component to whom you are binary bonded. All right, so how about that? Witwicky wasn't made up. I forgot all about that. I thought Witwicky was just some shit in the movie series for his last name. I just remembered that. We must immediately go and rescue him. Goody, goody, Grimlock. Want to bash Decepticons. No, we mustn't do anything to endanger the island's human visitors. We must find a way to determine the Decepticons' plans without revealing ourselves. That's right, Optimus. You be the, you be the strong leader. Everybody knows you are. And I know just the Autobot for the job. Oh, I used to have that toy. I've got you now, Blaster. You're heading for Scrapyard City. I hate to disappoint you. But as long as my engine's still running, you tin heads aren't sending me anywhere I don't want to go. Zam, boom, boom. He got away. How does he do it? Clean living and an oil change every month, friends. Ah, oh, see? That's that wit. That's that Transformers wit. Blaster, this is Optimus Prime. Quit dicking around with those fools and get over here immediately. I have a mission for you. It's about time. I was growing rusty from all this training stuff. These motherfuckers out here ain't nothing. They make it easy. Thanks for the workout anyway, auto pals. Catch you on the drive home. Oh shit, look at this. Airwolf, a real engine powered model helicopter you can fly. Include one dollar and receive a Cox iron on pouch. That's a hell of a deal right there, ladies and gentlemen. A short time later, in a residential section of Portland, Oregon, Problem, Mr. Whitwicky? Yeah, the transmission of this old clunker shot, Jesse. At least fixing it keeps me sharp. Since the Decepticons destroyed my car repair business, I don't get as many chances to practice. Oh, look at that. We got a little asterisk. It happened in Transformers number 38. Oh, look at that. We got Wikipedia built in before Wikipedia. I guess I have a lot of things have changed since then. You mean Buster? Look at that old school 80s ride. That's nice. He just disappeared around the same time. I know my other son Spike has seen him, but Buster's still a prisoner of the Decepticons. And you haven't been able to contact him by calling on the phone number on those at TV ads? I've tried. Haven't heard a peep from him. Not a goddamn thing. I know you and Buster were good friends, but that motherfucker's a bitch. Free. Huh? Boom! Look at that. Somebody's butt plug fell out of the sky. Screak! Blink. Spark plug, Witwicky. I am Blaster. My commander, Optimus Prime, suggests that I drop in on you. He thought we might help you be... We thought we may be able to help each other. You sneak me into the Decepticons Island, and I find out what they're really up to. And maybe rescue your son in the bargain. It's interesting how they grow so damn big. He used to be a tape cassette. Like, boombox player. Blaster. 
Blaster gets this. Blaster still around? Let's see here. Let's see. Transformers Blaster 1980s. Shit, yeah, there he is. What was he? So he was, yeah, he was just like a tape cassette dude. Now what do you get? Is he still a thing? Transformers Blaster Modern. I guess he still is. Oh, that's cool. I figured they would have redone something with him since he's not really a... Uh, tape cassettes aren't a thing anymore, but whatever. You Autobots have been nothing but trouble for my family and me ever since the first time one of you rolled into my garage. Oh, look, another asterisk. Sea Transformers number one, Driving Dawn. Sweet. I swore I'd never had anything to do with you motherfuckers again. You fucked all my shit up. And now I just sit around smoking cigars, hoping you guys don't come back. But I'd shake hands with the devil to get Buster back. Sure, I'll take you to that island. But Mr. Whitwicky, that resort is geared for uh, younger folks. It's full of swingers. They don't want your old dick there. Someone as uh, mature as you might attract undue attention. Let me take Blaster there. Oh, boy. Let's see where this is. It's going to get spicy at the base. No, Jesse. I can't allow you to. Sure you can. Just think after we bring Buster back, you won't have to worry about me coming around so often and annoying you. But I can't let you. I promise to stay out of trouble. Are you sure? I'll just work on my tan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your tan. No problem mine. No problem mine. Just work on your tan, lady girl. You want lotion? We will rub some lotion on you, lady girl. Don't get sunburned, okay? It's a deal, Mr. Whitwicky. Two days later at ClubCon, the renowned vacation getaway for humans. In secret base for the Decepticons. Dun, dun, dun. This operation must go well. Decepticon Imperial Headquarters itself ordered it, all the way from our homeworld of Cybertron. Its importance is beyond question. So the Imperial Headquarters ordered this operation, so it's a big deal. You worry too much, Rat Bat. Ooh, that was a horrible name. Oh, was that the little dude? That's Commander Ratbat, Sarscream, and don't you forget it. My apologies for the oversight, Commander. Having been so recently repaired for which you have my eternal gratitude and everlasting loyalty, of course, I'm afraid that my protocol systems are not entirely back online. Such a pity. Bitch-ass Starscream. Have you ever heard of Tom Cruise? Have you ever heard of the movie Top Gun? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must, in my capacity as manager of ClubCon, welcome the latest jet load of swingers to the party. Go, go. Ah, I see Ramjet arrives with a fresh litter of loathsome freshlings for me to greet. Hello. Sometimes my job can be so distasteful. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Welcome, humans. Welcome to paradise on Earth. Please allow our staff to carry your luggage and escort you to your rooms. We're here to serve and meet your every need. Wow, this place is gorgeous, Phil. But our host seems so friendly. Blaster. Just don't let appearances feel you, Jesse. Deceit is what the Decepticons are all about. 
that Starscream in his friendly way. He becomes one of the most murderous mechanical beings in the galaxy over the last few million years. But don't let a little detail like that ruin your vacation, Miss Softskin. I'll try not to. A bit later. Is this a good spot? Can I take you anywhere else? You remember to get a tan. You're here to get a tan, remember? Leave the surveillance to me. Your job is done. You snuck me onto the island. You've already taken all the risks you're going to take. Now just take your top off and get all the sun. Okay, I get the message. Turn your volume down. For your safety, bathers, please do not swim beyond the buoys. This guy's everywhere. He does every job. Where are you going, soft skin? To cool off. See you later. I haven't snorkeled since Mom and Dad took me to Key West when I was 12. But it's just as easy now as it was then. Hmm. I think I'll get away from all these other folks. So she swims out. And of course, she breaks the rules. You know, do not swim beyond the buoys right here. Right here, she's swimming beyond the buoys. So number one, she's jacking this all up. That's just how it goes. Wow, what a great coral reef. I've never seen so many. Uh, what is that shape moving this way? Yeah, bitch, that's right. Jaws coming at you. Oh, no. Got to get away. Hide before it. Ah, and then a, a Mattel toy comes flying out of the water that fell off the boat. Some kid driving by. Err. Wait a second. It's not a shark. It's not a real one anyways. Uh-oh. Whatever it is, it has friends. They're swimming away from the shipwreck at the bottom of the reef. Okay, so this must be the introduction of a new line of toys at this time. And now they seem to be going toward the island and entering it. Ooh, what's up? Centerfold soon. Hey, soft skin. You're shaking. What happened? See a robot minion down there? I saw a whole school of Decepticons. They were searching a shipwreck, and they entered this island through a secret entrance. My secret entrance. It was my secret back entrance. Maybe we could find Buster if we... Hold it right there. We're not doing anything. You could have blown this entire operation, not to mention the rest of your brainless existence by spying on the Decepticons. But Buster could have been down there. I don't care if the prime motherfucking Matrix itself is down there. What the fuck are you doing to me? Putting you in this plastic snorkel bag. I wouldn't want you to get all rusty and shit. Rusty? Why would I get... Put, put me down. Not until you cool your bitch ass off. Let's go. Soon. Something's coming through here. Oh, so she swims down there. Goes through the portal. Comes up the middle. What are you doing? Shh. So I says the Constructicon, get your own turbo pliers, microbrain. Ha 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 That's telling them, Vortex. Nice, drop all the names. That must be it. That must be what? Where they're keeping him. Super Marvel Mart. Get yourself some bubble yum, folks. Buster. Jesse! How the hell'd you get in here? Bitch, where's your clothes? Well, yours was the only human sized door I saw in this goddamn place, so I figured, what the fuck? Aw, oh, who cares? It's just so great to see you again. To be here with al alone with you. Uh, I actually brought a friend, lover boy. Yeah, I know you've been strapped here with a little all by yourself and just your right hand, but just chill out. Meet Blaster. You've caused my fellow Autobots a lot of concern, human. I hope you're worth it. Come on, we're breaking you the fuck out of here. I can't leave. Oh my. I think I just peed myself. A polysteel cabin chain. I could tear it apart. If only I had enough room in this cell to transform into my robot mode. 
Sorry, Buster. I can't risk soft skin staying any longer. Gotta leave you behind for now. But first, tell me what the fuck's going on. This is what I overheard. A few hundred years ago, some Autobots on Cybertron detected something. I'm not quite sure what, heading towards Earth. They knew that there, that a bunch of Autobots led by Optimus Prime had arrived here four million years earlier. So they sent two Autobots. Rain Dance and Grand Slam. Oh, old cassette tapes. What are those two doing? Rain Dance and Grand Slam. Let's see where they're at. Transformers Rain Dance. Oh, yeah, look at that. Classic. Yep. And who was the other one? Rain Dancing. It must just be the red version. Yep. I had this toy. That's pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. So he sent Rain Dance and Grand Slam to Earth to warn Optimus and all of his pals. Seemed like these two contained a lot of recorded data about whatever was coming. But before they could relay his info to anyone, their spacecraft malfunctioned as it entered Earth's atmosphere and crash landed. Yar har har. They were damaged and wound up in treasure chests of some 18th century pirates. But a storm, a storm sank their ship in this area. That's why the Decepticons moved their island here. Seems like the Decepticons on Cybertron finally tracked them down, these two Autobots, and ordered Ratbat to find them. Okay, so that's why we are where we are. So he claimed this island is a sovereign nation, then started this vacation operation to cover up the search for the shipwreck. Alright, fair enough. Then that's what the school of Decepticons I saw must have been doing. The Decepts kept me around as they figured King... They figured correctly that with a human ruler, no other country could legally interfere with their search. So he's the king of this area, of this sovereign nation. And that's all I know. All right, soft skin, we've already been here too long. But we can't leave Buster. Let's go. Getting help is more important than getting me the fuck out of here, Jesse. Now go and find some clothes and hit a bathroom. you still got pee dripping down your leg. Goodbye, Buster. Mission accomplished. Yeah, overbite. This is a great day for the Decepticons. And grim one for the Autobots. Nautilator. Ooh, overbite and Nautilator. Come on, Tentakill. Let's show this to the commander. Oh, man, we got all three, all three toys in one right here. This way, Scalar. Oh, no, we got four. I recognize that last guy. His name's... Sea Wing, that must be his group, the Sea Cons. Oh, okay, so that's it. The Sea Cons. Let's see these fools. Transformers, Sea Cons. Are these back? Yeah, these didn't, these weren't very popular, I don't think. The plastic and stuff was different. It was, I don't know. I remember those not being nearly as popular as a kid for getting your hands on them. The sea cons, meanest creatures in any ocean this side of the galaxy. And they found the treasure chest. You have a way of making a bad situation sound even worse, soft skin. Commander Ratbat, we've hooked our prey. So what's going on here? He's pointing, got it. Well done, Seacon leader, Snap Trap. All Decepticons congratulate you on your hard-earned and energy-efficient success. What are you doing, soft skin? The airlock is the other way. Shh. Okay, so she's spying.
You know, I like, um, we'll hit that in a minute, fuck it. But I must share the credit. So she pulls out her hits of the 80s, a couple mixtapes made by her, her buddy Joe. So I must share the credit with my fellow Seacons. Just hold these and be quiet. Okay, so hold the cassette tapes. Hold the 80s mixtapes. Without their help, I would still be out there looking. They deserve as much glory as... Enough of the hot exhaust snap trap. Let's see the Autobots. What? They're gone. The small pools of liquid, they seem to form tracks. Those are human tracks, you dumbass. Follow them. Let nothing stop you from finding those Autobots. I know you humans generally have your wires loose, soft skin, but yours must be completely fucking disconnected. You're just batshit crazy. Stop complaining. We got the Autobots, didn't we? We're going to get a lot more than that. What are you talking about? We'll just catch the next plane. Take a look at the ocean. Hey, what's that? A whale? We are the Seacons, fleshlings. Okay, so they just come out throwing their fucking name. Like, hey, come buy us at your local Kmart and venture. We are the Seacons. And we're fishing for Autobots. Okay, that's weak. So far, who is that? Bob? Bob Budinsky? Give them to us or die. Now, granted, Bob, I'll give you credit. you got to write the toys in. It's been great writing so far. It's a good story to follow along, and I love the art. Matter of fact, we're going all in on the art. You know, Shy just wants to matter. You know, we just, the art just wants to matter. And I think it does. I think the art matters well. And while we're here, you know, the, car, the, the cover's sweet as shit. The cover's sweet as shit. The cover gets an Optimus. You know, actually, screw that. The cover gets the Megan. Megan loves this cover. So continue on. So the sea cons come flying out of the water, even though they're fishing. I guess they're fishing on land for the Autobots. Oh, no, they're all shooting at the people. I must give them the two Autobots. No, you don't, soft skin. Fuck no. We just went through all that work. Faboom! Watching those Seacons fillet you is against my programming. Protect humans at all costs. So I guess I have to do something instead. Six against one. The odds aren't too bad for them. Haha. Ha. Hey, Seacons, try shooting at someone your own damn size. I hope this distraction gives all the humans a chance to find cover. Autobot rush droppings will optimize you, or will atomize you. Yeah, optimize is cool too. First, you have to hit me, Snap Trap. So they're trying to hit him. He's active. I bet your aim isn't as good as the land, on the land as it is in the ocean. Why shoot you when I could just crush you in my jaws? Yeah. Bzz. How about a taste of my Electro Scrambler instead, Sea Wing? Joey, come back here. To mommy. Hey, mini human, beat it. Big toy. That's right, big fucking toy. Get it at your local store. Can you see I'm busy? Big robot toy. Listen, this isn't a game, you little shit. Step the fuck off. Oh, tsh, blaster. Oh, shit, that smarts. And this one will disintegrate, Autobot. I can't continue fighting with all these humans around. Either they're going to die or I'll die, so... <sighs> ah, he shoots the cassettes out of his mouth. He just... I guess they were in his stomach? Instead of out of his, like, chest cavity thing? The fool spit the Autobots into the water. Seacons, dive! Everyone's distracted, which means I can transform back unnoticed. <laughs> they're leaving. So am I. When is the next flight out of this godforsaken sandbox shithole motherfucking place? All right, it didn't say all that. What happened to Blaster? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry, Blaster. I messed everything up. You're too hard on yourself, soft skin. Thanks to you. I know how important the information in those the Autobots is to the Decepticons. Even if I don't have the Autobots themselves. And you got your tan. 
so this trip wasn't a total loss. Come on, we have a plane to catch. Soon. And on behalf of ClubCon, I, Starscream, most humbly apologize for the unfortunate uh, incident on the beach earlier. Thank you all humans for coming. Please visit us again. Sooner than you think, Decepticon. Sooner than you think. The end. Next, Optimus Prime vs. Megatron. The secrets of the Autobot tapes revealed and more robots that you can shake a microchip at. Oh. Look at this. We can learn about Snapdragon, Allegiance Decepticon, Subgroup Headmaster. Interesting. Highbrow, ape face. That's it. All right, folks. I mean, story. I mean, Shy is kind of crying, but you kind of have to work with what you have to work with. It is a toy line. So I think for that, it's pretty sexy beyond that. I mean, they did a good job. There's a good amount of writing. They follow you along. It's a pretty decent story for what they have to work with. So, so yeah. So that's it, gang. Until the next one, keep it real.